The topic for this lesson is half-wave rectifiers. For use in most electronic circuits, standard 110 volt 60 hertz AC voltage available is converted into a constant DC voltage by a DC power supply. Rectifiers are the key element in a DC power supply and are usually of the half-wave or full-wave type. They convert AC input voltage to a pulsating DC. The next stage in the power supply is the filter, which eliminates fluctuations and produces a uniform voltage. Finally, the regulator maintains a constant DC voltage, correcting any variations in the DC voltage or load. The output from the rectifier may look like the following. The average value of the half-wave voltage is given by the equation V sub max divided by pi equals 0 0.318 times V sub max. The waveform is shown in this illustration. Let's look at an example. What is the average value of the rectified voltage shown in the figure? The average voltage is equal to V sub max divided by pi or 47.7 volts. Let's examine the effect of the barrier potential on the output wave in a rectifier. When the practical model of the diode is considered, the barrier potential appears in the calculation. During the positive half cycle, the barrier potential must be overcome by the input voltage before the diode becomes forward biased. This results in a half wave output that is 0.7 volts less than the peak value of the voltage for silicon. Therefore, V sub max out is equal to V sub max in minus 0.7 volts. As an example, what are the output voltages for the following rectifier circuits? Let's examine the half wave rectifier shown. When V sub I is positive, the diode is forward biased and conducts current through the load resistor R sub L. The current being in phase with the voltage produces an upper half wave. When V sub I is negative, during the lower or second half of the cycle, the diode is reverse biased. The current is zero. Thus, the voltage V sub L across R sub L is zero. The negative half cycle does not appear and, with a positive half cycle appearing after every half cycle, the result is a pulsating DC voltage. In the first circuit shown, the peak output voltage is determined by the following equation. V sub max out is equal to V sub max in minus 7 tenths of a volt or 5.3 volts. In the second circuit, the peak output voltage is determined by the equation V sub max out is equal to V sub max in minus 7 tenths of a volt or 149.3 volts. During reverse bias, the peak value of the voltage is called peak inverse voltage or PIV. The peak inverse voltage equals the maximum value of the input voltage. Let's now look at a half wave rectifier with a transformer coupled input voltage. The advantage of a transformer coupled voltage is that the voltage can be stepped up or down as required. The expression for the secondary V sub S side of the transformer is N sub S divided by N sub P times V sub P where V sub P is the transformer primary voltage and N sub S divided by N sub P is the transformer turns ratio that is the ratio of number of windings in the secondary to the primary. Let's look at another example. What is the peak value of the output voltage in a transformer coupled half wave rectifier if V sub max N is equal to 120 volts and N sub P divided by N sub S equals 3? Because V sub max P is equal to V sub max N it's equal to 120 volts. The secondary voltage is therefore V sub max of the secondary is equal to N sub S divided by N sub P times V sub max P which is equal to 1 divided by 3 times 120 volts or 40 volts. The peak rectified output voltage is V sub max out is equal to V sub max of secondary minus 7 tenths of a volt or 39.3 volts.